welcome everyone so you ended up deleting your recovery partition on windows 11 or windows 10 or your brand new computer fresh install of windows 11 or windows 10 has this problem where you're trying to reset the computer and you get this message saying sorry i could not find the recovery environment well don't panic there's a fix for that i'm i'm going to talk about it in this session and it doesn't cost anything the first step is to launch the command prompt as an administrator you don't have to do the info it doesn't really give you any details do the reagent c space enable that'll be your first thing you need to try if you get this message saying hey the windows re image was not found this is what applies to you but if you get no error message just reset your computer now and it will work you can skip the entire video so the reason again there are two reasons first reason is that you're missing the recovery partition as you can see here I launched the computer management and there is no recovery partition the other reason is it's a fresh windows or em machine fresh install and you go under system 30 windows system 32 under recovery you're missing a file called winre.wim that is the reason why you're not able to do a factory reset so let's fix this first step is to of course download the windows 11 iso from the microsoft website itself Pick and choose the version that you have most computer 64-bit now so you probably be likely picking 64-bit for the download choose your language pack choose your language download the specific uh, version that is uh, suited for your needs well while you're do doing the download you can always check out my other video about fixing this exact same message but it applies to Windows 10 there are some slight changes from Windows 10 to Windows 11 method one less step for Windows 11 basically so once you have the image downloaded mount the image once the image has been mounted uh, you can search for the file called install w install.win or wim the windows 10 was window or was called install.esd so there that's the only difference in windows 10 and windows 11 so copy the file install.wim to a folder this is create a random folder for me i just created a folder called your folder for example right you can call it whatever you want copy this file the install.wim from the mounted image to this location it will be about five gigs or six gigs in size now go back to the command prompt and we are going to run a bunch of commands so these are the commands that we'll be using so first step is to get the index value so for example if you're on windows 11 uh, home edition the index value is one now go to your folder where you have this file and run the command uh, the command i will post in the description as well you can copy paste and just run so windows pro has index value of six windows home this is a windows home edition as you can see here so this fix applies to all the versions so you can choose accept enterprise enterprise you don't get the enterprise edition from the microsoft website you have to download that from the volume list etc but the same steps should apply for enterprise as well so now what we're going to do is create another folder for mounting the image basically now we're going to mount it and we're going to call it your mounting directory for example or dir in this case i called it This is the command that you need to do for mounting the image itself. So 
again make sure that the paths are reflective of your locations uh, with the read-only there is a bug which I will talk about at the end of the video and we'll fix that as well because I had, I had viewers uh, talk about it saying hey, they can't dismount it or unmount the image and remove the folder because they're not doing a full factory reset I think they're just doing a, a keep local or keeping the files and then doing a reset that way but again I will have the full fix for that as well in my other video so once you run the command it will take about five seconds or so depending on your system once operation completes what you need to do is go into that mount directory that you created and in there you need to look for the file winre.wim that might take a little bit longer to search so the best is to just browse to windows and system32 recovery folder as I'll show you guys here because my search was taking forever so windows system32 recovery folder and in there you'll see the file winre.wim you'll need to copy both actually so if you just copy one and not the other there have been some issues with some of the viewers in the other video that I've posted so just copy both the files okay go back to your original windows uh, directory the one that's on your c drive on your main drive and make a copy of it please make the copy of the reagent.xml file always have a backup of original files so this is what i'm doing here is i'm creating a backup of the original file that's on my windows system 32 recovery folder so i'm and then i'm just basically copying the files from the mounted image so you have the windows 11 mounted and from your mount directory and i'm just copying the two files the winre.wim and the reagent.xml file so copy both of them so copy and paste in your c drives windows system 32 recovery folder it should ask you to replace the original the original file that's reagent.xml file and that's it that, that is all you need to do now go back to your window uh, go back to your command prompt which is still running as an administrator these commands need to be run as an administrator now we're going to type in reagent c space slash enable and that should so here here what i'm trying to do is uh, show you guys that nothing gets created as a partition it just creates a soft link and there you go previously we were getting the error message that image was not found as you can see here it doesn't create a separate recovery partition it just has a virtual i guess it creates a placeholder within the existing partition in the free space as you can see here it's just a link anyways so click on the reset and now we're going to try and remove everything and as you can see i get to this screen now i'm not getting that could not find that and recovery environment message anymore so that's the fix for it and this is what it looks like when you actually do the reset so local install and if you click next you can change settings also there will be an option to clean the the system or just keep the files as well and that's how you do the reset so that's it your computer is fixed you're now able to reset your computer but the problem is now that some viewers have said that they wanted to delete the folder that they mounted and they were getting an error message that it's in read-only mode and you don't have access so to fix that I have a video that is going to go live soon on my channel and we'll talk about fixing that problem where I resolve this issue and you're able to actually delete the folder if you're not doing a factory reset you will want to do this because factory reset wipes everything but if you're keeping the files if you're not it's not a clean install you will be stuck with this folder with this file so this is the video that i'll be posting that talks about the fix if you guys like this video guys please hit the like button please do subscribe it is much appreciated take care stay safe